TG Latvian quiz with Simon from Biffy Claro. So it's TG's Latvian quiz with Simon from Biffy Claro. Simon, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Tom. How are you doing? I'm, I'm really, really good. So, uh, Simon, uh, good luck. And Fingers crossed. And here's the c- first question. And uh, firstly, I want to know what you can tell me about this particular place. Uh, well, you can get a point for a country, you can get a point for a city where you are uh, in at, at this moment, and maybe you can tell me something about this venue as well. Sure. Well, we are in Riga. Yes. And uh, I believe Latvia has roughly three million people. Yeah. Um, it's similar in climate to Scotland. Okay. I know that because okay. so, it feels very familiar now I'm here. And uh, you guys love ice hockey and basketball. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, it's like nine points already. Yes. Uh, congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. Uh, tr- uh, well, do you know what was here before it was the venue? No, I don't. Uh, well, this was one of the biggest cinemas in uh, the former Soviet Union. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, actually, I, I came, when I was a little boy, I came to see a few films here. Try to guess one of those. I can't remember what was the first, but, but I remember some, like, three titles. Titanic. No. No. Seven by David Fincher was one of them. Oh, wow, that's a good one. And then Star Wars as well. Wow, they're two of the best movies ever made. What was your third one? You uh, can... What's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time, I wonder. Let me think. I tell you, I really love... I love Memento by Christopher Nolan. I love The Dark Knight Returns. Okay. Or Dark Knight Rises, rather. Yeah. That was I thought that was one of the best movies ever, the third in the Batman trilogy, so big Christopher Nolan fan. Okay. If you go outside from, from here, from Palladium, and if you go straight to the street, you will you will find a very magical place in Riga. It's called Central Market. Okay. And now here's the next question. You go to Central Market and there's only one grocery you can buy. Which one it will be? I would buy broccoli. Mm, wrong answer, sorry. sorry. Uh, well, I don't know the right answer. I would give you a point if you would say, like, uh, fish and chips. Okay, fish and chips. Actually, there's just a, there, there's the only one uh, fish and chips shop in Latvia. Oh, really? Just around the corner? Yeah. Well, but you, you guys have nice seafood here, though, don't you? Uh, yeah, but we, we don't cook much of it. Don't cook much of it. So, sorry. What's, what's your favorite fish and chips place in the world? Well, there's one in Air, in Air in Scotland, which is near where I am, and it's the Wellington Cafe, and it's very, very popular. It's a must eat in Scotland. Okay. And uh, yeah, I mean, you could get fish and chips in every block in Scotland. Basically, you walk 10 yards and you're just getting fried food thrown at you. So. And in, in Scotland, what's the most favorite, uh, like the most popular uh, fast food? Is it still fish and chips or something else? Yeah, I would say it probably is. Well, it's like you get a thing in Scotland called a sausage supper, which is a deep fried sausage and chips, which is based on fish and chips. But that's probably more popular in Scotland than fish and chips. Fish and chips are a wee bit more English than Scotland. We like sausage and chips. Okay. What is the typical fast food Latvians love to eat? Like, what's what's the most popular fast food here in Riga? Try to guess. It's, it's a, this is a hard one. It's got to be burgers. No, it's Lithuanian pizza. Lithuanian pizza? Yeah, like the Lithuanian pizza chain has taken over the McDonald's, even over, over the McDonald's no, area. Everyone goes to, to eat some Lithuanian pizza. And is it good pizza? It's not. It's not, no. Oh, no, right. no, no it's well, not. Uh, name three things how you can tell Latvian from Lithuanian. Uh, can, can, can you do it? I don't know if I can. I've no. never been to Lithuania, so um, I would say everyone's handsome here. Everyone's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, um, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to admit I don't know anything about it. Do you want to know right answers? Yes, yes. We don't eat as Zeppelins, whatever it is. Okay. Uh, we speak different language. That, that's, course, that's, one, that's one thing. And uh, here we don't have a dolphin circus, but Lithuanians have one. They have a dolphin? Dolphin circus? Oh, God, that's circus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> dolphins. Poor dolphins. Okay, name three things how you can tell a Scottish person from Englishman. Uh, they've probably got their hand in their wallet very tight with their money. Um, we speak a much nicer nicer version of English in Scotland and we're a lot friendlier. Okay, uh, finish the sentence, in Latvia they have the most beautiful what? Well, even though my wife's here, I'm going to have to say it with beautiful women. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but this is the right answer. You, 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 get, you get a point for this one. And uh, well, it, uh, well, this, this is a hard one as well. Is this the most beautiful woman in Latvia? T- take a look, take a look. How do you think? <laughs> well, if she wasn't Jessica Alba, she, <laughs> she would be the most beautiful woman in Latvia. Actually, you get a point. She, she was uh, well. There, there was this uh, poll the local FHM magazine mm-hmm. uh, made. It was two years ago, and she was at the third place as the sexiest woman. For Latvian men think that she's oh, right. The okay. Third, third. Uh, the second one was Latvian, and the first one was Latvian as well. Wow. Can you, can you show it? Yeah. So, Excellent. Good so, work. 
So that was that was the chart. Okay, next one. You have to listen to some music. So you have to ident- identify the most popular band in Latvia. You will hear five clips, five short clips, and uh, yeah, here you go. One. And I've got to pick the most popular one. Three. You guys really like your rock music. Good. This is going to be hard. And the very last. Right. I reckon number three. Played in Glastonbury last year. Playing Glastonbury. From all these bands. The band played. First band. <laughs> no, because Glastonbury doesn't play metal. No. Well, in that case, I'll say the second band. <laughs> the, answer is, the correct answer is fourth. Oh. But you like the third the best? I thought they were. I thought it was all really good, actually. Very, very rocking. Okay. And, uh, if you have to choose one of these bands to open for Biffy Clyro, which one you will choose? I'd probably go with the first band because it sounded a bit like Serge from System of a Down. So, okay. like that lot. Nice, nice choice. Iron Wolf is the name of the band. Zell Svilks in Latvian. Iron Wolf. Okay, Iron Wolf. I'm fucking into it. I'm into it. <laughs> What's the most inappropriate band that has opened for Biffy Clara? Uh, most inappropriate. Well, we've opened for some inappropriate bands. We, we've, for example, we've opened for Bon Jovi before, whoa, whoa, whoa. which didn't fit. Didn't fit at all. Uh, we've opened for Limp Biscuit. Th- these are all the the tough ones where we didn't go down at all well. Okay. And uh, we've also played with some good bands, but yeah, it's probably we tend to open for strange bands. We always, we like the bands that support us because we, we always choose them, you know. Okay. And what is the most fun act you have toured with? Uh, I guess I'm going to be biased, but it's one of our friends' band called Ocean Size, the um, great band from Manchester. They haven't been around lately. No, they're, they're broken up, So they, ah. but um, we've got, I'm kind of blowing it here, but we've got a couple of their guys now play with us live, but... We were just always great friends with them and we would always have a right laugh when we would go and tour together. So, yeah, Ocean Size Boys. Uh, your opening band for tonight is the Ride the River mm-hmm. and the river that flows through Riga, where you are at the moment, is Daugava. Okay. So, <laughs> next question, what you have to do to dry Daugava? To dry Daugava. this river? <laughs> well, our drummer stopped drinking, otherwise he would have drunk it dry. But uh, I guess I would throw the fattest people in and try and get all the water out. That's how I would dry that river. I give you a point for that. The correct answer, though, is thou shalt not dry the river. Oh not <laughs> un- unfortunately, Cliff Richard, who's kind of responsible for your band's name, yeah. Yeah, he's never been in Latvia. But if I th- think about who's the closest to him, I, I think of Chris Norman from-, from The Smokey. Well, he has even recorded CD with Latvian Boys Choir. No way. Yeah, so uh, the question is, how many times do you think he has performed uh, here in Latvia? Well, if he's recorded with the Latvian boy, I reckon... 17 times. Too many, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, imagine you have to... Oh, this, this is a good one as well. Imagine you have to go to the radio session for famous UK station and they're asking you to do a cover version of either Cliff Richards or Chris Norman's track. Tell us, what is your usual excuse to avoid such situations? <laughs> I would say, oh, I've lost my voice. <laughs> it goes against my religious beliefs to sing a Cliff Richards song. That's what I would say. <laughs> one of the most uh, fun players of this game I have ever had so thank you thank you very much the last thing you have to do is still uh, we're gonna be absent for, for that one I will give you a present mm-hmm. I have something for you oh. and it's the same thing but for Latvians that's the same as for you single malt oh no way you guess so so when you're gonna when you're gonna taste this please oh, I'll, I'll taste it right now 
uh, well, well, please do that, do that before the show. Okay, when are you serious? Yeah, yeah. After the show, do this. And please let me know what you think about it. <laughs> All right? I love it, man. You're S a star. That's Simon, fantastic. Simon, I love you. And thank you very much for doing thank this interview. Thank you so much. A pleasure, Tom. Pleasure. Total score, 13. Six. And Hello, this is Simon from Biffy Clyro. And Tom's your man's Labau Kais Trauks.